So here we have the Volkswagen Golf on a 70 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, uh, we have currently displayed the oil temperature and coolant temperature. We have a digital readout for the speedometer in the middle and on the right-hand side as well. I'll come back to those in just a sec. Uh, you can see the total miles below that, they are 4,003. You can change the information on the left, in the middle and on the right hand side for anything that you see listed here. So for example, you could have fuel consumption over that side. You could have um, over on the right hand side, the time and date, for example, uh, any of those things that you want changing, you can do. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the right hand side of the buttons I was using just a moment ago, we have stereo controls beneath that, which continue over on the left hand side. We also have cruise control over on that left-hand side. Once you set cruise control, if you hit this button in the middle, this car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front, both speeding up and slowing down automatically depending on the car in front's speed. Over in the center, we have the touch screen for the car. So this is where you can access your satellite navigation, for example. There's a full video showing how this works on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. Go back to the home screen and you can access your music. We have FM, DAB, and internet radio. You can listen to your own music uh, via many ways, which include Bluetooth audio once you've paired up your phone. There's also a choice of home screens that you can go through up here as well. And on this screen, you can get extra information by using these buttons just here. So for example, we have our climate control. Uh, we can adjust our passenger and driver temperature from over here. You can also adjust it using uh, these touch sensitive buttons beneath that. Uh, uh, it's worth pointing out that in the middle you can adjust the volume for the stereo as well. Uh, we can also adjust our assist systems for the car and we can access our parking camera. Putting the vehicle in reverse will open it automatically or press the button you've just seen me hit. Underneath that we have two USB-C inputs and wireless charging for your phone just here. The start button for the engine, a six-speed manual gearbox and an electronic handbrake with auto hold function. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.